Joining me now from Gelming Construction is Scott Gelming. Scott, great to have you here today. Well, thank you. Now, Scott, I know that your family's been building in this area for a number of years. Tell me a little bit more about the homes and projects you're working on. Uh, we basically do uh, residential custom new homes and a lot of custom remodel jobs, existing homes, and we do some light commercial work also. Okay, so it sounds like no matter what the project is, it is custom and you really work with the customer to accommodate their needs. Exactly. We have our own crew. I have eight employees that are carpenters and everything we do is strictly custom. We are not a track type builder. Uh, we try not to ever do two things alike. We try to make everything uniquely yours. Okay. Well, Scott, you know, I'm really excited to take a look at some of your work today. Today we're at one of your homes that is a remodel. Start me out on that front. What are we going to find as we walk up to this home? This home is a total renovation of the outdoor spaces with some remodeling in the interior spaces. I met this gentleman uh, two years ago, actually, and we sat down and he had, we did some sketches. Uh, a month later, we were digging foundations, and basically we designed everything in this project on an ongoing basis. We met daily, sometimes weekly, and we just designed built as we went. Okay. Well, that front entrance is definitely a great looking space, and you know, I really love the stacked stone. It's modern, yet provides a really warm feel to this home as well. Yes, this home was built probably in the 50s, and so it really, really hadn't had any updating for quite some time, especially on the exterior. And as you'll see, the front entrance is now phase two of this project, and there's very little parking. It was really not an inviting type entrance. So what we're basically doing is, is bringing in a large, large courtyard at the bottom of where they can actually park and it'll be a really nice wide staircase of stone going up to a great timber frame covered front porch area now that actually invites you into the house. Before it was very tough to find that area. Right, well you know the work you've done already it looks great and I'm sure that space is going to be great as well but you know another thing I noticed by that front entrance way is the curved wall there. Yes and one thing this house was lacking was a dining room. It was very very tiny um, and we needed to expand that space so what we did is just put a basically a true radius on that room and expanded it by seven and a half feet. Okay. Well, again, you know that dining room is going to look great when it's finished off, and you know you have done some work already in the interior spaces of this home. Tell me a little bit more about what you did here. We basically took a small kitchen, family room area, dinette area, and made it into more of a gourmet type kitchen. Made it into a nice sized dinette area for them to enjoy. And then we took the old family room, which was very small, and made a large, large, expansive family room that actually ties into the living room, the kitchen, and it, it really invites people into the spaces now. All right, well, it's definitely a more functional space, and it's a great space for entertaining as well. Exactly. I mean, that's really what they wanted is, is, is open spaces and adequate spaces that they could entertain in or just use on a daily basis. All right, well, that's great that you sat down with them and got to know their needs, and you know, you designed a functional home for them, but there's a lot of great aesthetics in this home as well. How do they choose their selections? What is that process like? Basically, this is like I said, this is very unique. I work very uh, a lot with the homeowner, and we would sit down and just look at books. We'd open books up, we'd go through, and he said, "This is kind of what I want." I would sometimes make a mock-up of a sample of what he want, what I thought he wanted to do. We'd meet again. We'd, we'd say, "Yep, looks great." Um, he would get online. I would get online really get into the depth of, of the Frank Lloyd Wright style, Prairie style home here, and we just found new and exciting things that they wanted. Shoneman's Building Materials Center has been a family owned and managed business since 1888. Whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, contractor, or just need a little help on a project, Shoneman's is the one-stop resource for all your building needs. Lumber, hardware, building material, plumbing, and much more. Whether you're building a new home, remodeling an existing home, building a fence, or just simply need a board cut to size, Shoneman's friendly staff are ready, willing, and able to help in any way they can. From start to finish, Shoneman's will provide you the best in customer service. Scott, I know the customers are definitely very happy with what you provided with them with here, but you know, this home is sitting on a great lot overlooking the golf course and they really wanted to take advantage of the views, so you've designed a great outdoor living space for them. Right. This whole project started for the outdoor living space of this home. In South Dakota, we have beautiful weather in the spring, summer, fall, and they really wanted to take advantage of this openness of this lot we have and just be able to enjoy the outdoors. Here we're in a covered porch area, so if it's light rain or whatever and still nice out, they can be out here. We've got outdoor entertainment areas, we've got barbecue areas out here, we got waterfalls out back here. 
Now in the, in the new side, the new addition, we're also going to have a front entrance waterfall there. So we're tying the back and the front all together so they can really enjoy their outdoor spaces if they really want it. Right, well you've definitely taken advantage of the views here and it also has a great flow to where you can access the back outdoor living space from different points in the house. Yeah, we, we tried to incorporate the indoors and the outdoors where like I said, you can access it from the living room, from the new family room, from the th uh, four season screen porch that we added on. Every different angle of this home, you can end, you can access this back living area. Right, well you mentioned that sunroom they have as well, and I know that you've also added heated floors in there as well, so they can enjoy that even if the weather's not great outside. Yes, yeah, so it's another place that, you know, we do have mosquitoes, so to go ahead and buzz, but it's another place in the spring, fall, really, with the heated floors that they can go and enjoy. So they really feel like they're utilizing all our outdoor space and our great weather we have here in South Dakota. All right, well Scott, this is definitely a great home and you've really managed to accomplish what the customers were looking for here, but you know, I know no matter what size project you're working on, your process is going to be the same. Tell me a little bit more about some of the projects you're working on. Well, we have one extremely large house going right now, a custom home that's going to take three years. Um, out of the norm for that type project in, in Sioux Falls and, and for us, I mean, it's a challenge every day and we have weekly meetings with the owners. Also, we have a kitchen remodel that we're just getting finished up on and we do a lot of kitchen and bath remodels. Um, it was another one where we just went in and they really didn't have an idea what they wanted, they just wanted to have a gourmet kitchen because he actually cooks a lot. So we just started and designed and, and worked with an interior designer on the project and it just turned out wonderful. We're just finishing that project up today. Um, also coming up is a few more smaller additions. We're also doing some small remodel projects. Our smallest project we probably will take on is about five or 6,000, but after that, really the sky's the limit. With the crew I've got and the experience that I've got on that crew, we can pretty much handle any project that comes in front of us. Okay, and I know you're also handling some commercial work as well. Yes, we do small uh, commercial jobs. Um, interior build-out spaces, uh, then a couple uh, medical facilities for uh, doctors and basically clients of mine, and go in and once in a while we remodel them projects also. So we do dabble in the uh, commercial side of it just a little bit. Okay. Well, Scott, you know, you mentioned the crew you have working for you. Tell me a little bit more about the team you've assembled and who your customers are going to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, like I say, we have eight team members on our team. The most I've ever had is 12. It gets a little hectic when you got that many going. I've had guys that have been with me for one year up to almost 22 years. And our, our team is really, really um, geared towards the remodeling side and, the new, and interacting with our clients on a daily basis. All very friendly, all very knowledgeable. Um, if for some reason they have a question that arises, my, my homeowners have a question that arises, and I'm not there, they can certainly ask them, and they are knowledgeable enough to answer them. Hit the mark with truly custom cabinetry. From simple to exquisite, Bullseye Custom Cabinetry Incorporated will transform your home into the dream home you've been wishing for. Using only the most skilled and dedicated craftsmen, Bullseye Custom Cabinetry can manufacture cabinets to fit any home and budget. The experts at Frisbee Incorporated offer quick and reliable service, making them one of the best plumbing companies in the industry. The professionals at Frisbee take pride in being on the job when scheduled and perform each job with honesty, integrity and quality workmanship.